Hi everyone, this is Lorraine. So I just purchased some of Bite Beauty's new lipstick line, the Amuse Bouche, I believe is what it's called. They are their new lipsticks. They are available at Sephora for VIB Rouge members right now only. However, they will be available on Sephora.com I believe the 23rd of February for everyone to purchase and then they'll be in stores sometime early March I believe the 4th or the 7th I can't remember the exact date but they'll be available then I am super excited about these lipsticks I am a huge fan of Bite Beauty my favorite line from Bite Beauty hands down is their buttercream lipstick line um, my favorite color from that line is caramel um, this is it's just my current favorite lipstick color and consistency it just feels amazing the only thing that I can say that I disapprove of with this line is that there were not enough colors to choose from well luckily they came out with this new line of lipstick with so many color choices and it feels very much like this line of lipsticks. So I am super excited. They're matte, so a lot of times matte lipsticks will be kind of over drying. These ones feel really nice and smooth and they feel almost as like a treatment of some sort for your lips. They don't feel over drying, they just feel good, luxurious. I just really love these lipsticks so far. I'm so happy, so so happy. Not a lot of products out there get me excited anymore just because I've seen so many products. Not a lot of lines, not a lot of beauty products make me super excited anymore. And this line of lipstick made me super excited. I feel like this for me is the same hype as the NARS Audacious lipstick line. Uh, same kind of thing, but I like these lipsticks so much more. Today's my first day wearing them and I wore the nude a nude color from about 10 o'clock till about 2 o'clock and it stayed on the entire time and I was drinking lots of water I drank um, I also drank sparkling water from a can I drank more water um, I ate lunch I had a lot of snacks in between like I ate sandwiches I ate a popsicle after everything was all said and done the lipstick stayed put it was still on and it was great <laughs> it was great and it was a nude color so a lot of times those nude colors that you like will just kind of fade away but these stayed on really nicely and it's hard for a lipstick to not be overly drying and to stay on like that it's impressive it's super impressive presently I have very dry lips that are peeling a little bit and these lipsticks do not show any of the peeling which is pretty remarkable because a lot of times matte lip colors when you have dry or chapped lips will show every little um, crack in your lips and these feel like almost like they're a healing product which is remarkable it's really really remarkable so I'm going to show you the six shades that I decided to purchase So I believe this line has about 40 shades. I could be wrong, but I believe that it has 40 different shades of color. So narrowing it down to just six colors for me was pretty good. This is what the packaging looks like. This is their normal packaging on top of it. So it's just got a sleeve with lips um, and then their normal standard packaging. They have their standard tubes of lipstick, a very matte dark gray. Um, if you touch foundation on it, they'll get very, very filthy. So I'm going to share with you the colors that I purchased. Souffle. This is a color that I would have really loved probably five years ago, six years ago. It's a true bubblegum pink. Um, I'm not so sure it's for me anymore, but I'm glad I tried it. Sugar Cane. I haven't tried this one on the lips yet, but I feel like it could be potentially a good color. Meringue. I wore this one for a minute. I liked it, 
but I felt like I was going to wear it for the video and I felt like I needed a little bit more color. I think it's going to be great for every day. Honeycomb, this is the color that I wore earlier today that stayed on so long and stayed on really nicely. This is a true brown nude. Um, so if you want a brown nude color, this is good. If you look better in more pink tones, I would avoid this one and I would go more with meringue. Um, but it was very, very pretty and it stayed on amazingly. Fig, this just looks like a pretty amazing color. Haven't tried this one yet, but I feel like it's going to be a winner. And Tannin. This color is what I'm wearing right now. They're all very, very beautiful colors. I feel like swatching them, they look a lot different than they do when you just look at the tube of lipstick. Um, but they feel so good. They look very pretty. I've already seen some other colors that they've posted on their like Instagram. Bite Beauty has it posted on their Instagram and I feel like I need those colors. So it's just whether or not I'm going to be able to wait until they hit stores. I'm going to really try to wait until they hit stores in order to order more, but the struggle is real. I just, I love these lipsticks and in my mind I honestly feel like they're going to sell out so I feel like I have to buy them right now or I'm going to have a problem. <laughs> and I think that's a problem in, in itself. Uh, but I hope this was helpful. So if you have any questions, feel free to post them below and I will see you all very soon with another video. Goodbye.